Hey everybody, it's Delta Shiny Zeta, and welcome to Ice Age Scrap's Nutty Adventure, another game released for Nintendo Switch and various other consoles uh, published by Outright Games. I've just been kind of in the mood of, you know, playing all of these games based on movies and, you know, shows and stuff, so let's go ahead and get started with this right away. So, before I begin, I'm going to go into options really quick and take a look at some stuff. Um, I'm going to turn these things off because I don't need that. I don't think I need to invert the cameras either. Audio is fine, graphics is fine, brightness and gamma are both okay, language, credits, and that's basically it. There's also extras here, but these, as you can see, cost a fair amount of uh, these uh, points, I should say, or currency of the game, which I'll get to once we actually begin the game. Let's go ahead and do a new game. Here we go. The Forgotten Temple, tablet pieces, yeah, this is just a loading screen, it's just showing you, you know, in the bottom left corner, but... It's a pretty cool one. It's a you know a nice little collectathon you can say, but it's fun. It's a fun game. It's not too long. I don't really expect this to get beyond five videos in lanes. Maybe four, to be honest. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, loading screens in this game vary from bad to good. If they're too long, I'll cut them out, like always. So we'll see. Welcome, brave warrior. Your offering has activated the challenge of the Scratisons. Long ago, this temple was constructed to harness the power of four powerful items, the Crystal Nuts. To find the mightiest warrior, the Crystal Nuts were scattered throughout the land. Legend tells of a champion who will return them all to the temple and lead the Scratisons into a golden age. Frankly, I expected somebody a little bit taller. With each crystal that you retrieve, you will be granted new abilities to aid you in your quest. Judging by your blank expression, you will need all the help you can get. Alright, and just like that, we begin. So, uh, let's just go ahead and, you know, get right to it. So there's a couple of things that I'll talk about in just a bit once uh, we get past this tutorial aspect of the game, so we'll see. But... Go forward, climb the ancient ice cliffs, and bring back the first crystal nut. Okay, so as far as controls go, you get to basically jump with the A button. Uh, we can't really do much else at the moment. Uh, we can do a little, like, uh, a... <laughs> that actually looks really funny. <laughs> oh my god. Whatever, I'll talk about that later. But you can basically just, you know, go like that and go ahead and attack the little boxes that contain these. That's basically it for now, just A and X. We can't do much with that right now. So we'll just go all the way through. Okay, so move, uh, wall jump, wall hop, and then let go. So if you go like this and you can jump again, you'll be able to eventually do a nice little wall jump. It's over here. Anything? No. But yeah, there's not much to the game. Um, it's it's pretty simple. Like it's not complicated at all. I would say I didn't talk about these, but if you can, if you press plus, you can go to the last checkpoint. We're not doing that, obviously. Um, but yeah, the, even the controls are uh, pretty simplistic for the most part, I would say. Alright, second area. Yeah, so I may keep that loading screen in there just so I can show you how long they are, which is average length. Um, but, okay, we're not going to... Hold on, before I do that. Um, but yeah, you know, that's kind of cool. But um, it's nice, but I'll still probably go ahead and cut eventually. These enemies will attempt to hurt you. Use your attacks to defeat them. Yeah, of course, of course. Okay, there's this over here. We can uh, go ahead and break that right there. To get some uh, some resources. Oh shoot, I fell. Yeah, the platforming can get a... Um, it can definitely be a little bit of getting used to, to be honest. The combat is a little... It can be a little wonky at times, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it definitely can. Okay, 
I, I do think, however, that um, the camera is a little bit too much zoomed out. Uh, I should probably go down there, by the way. Or, sorry, did I say zoom? I meant zoomed in. It's a little too much zoomed in. Like, it could have been a little better, you know, with that. But, maybe that's just my opinion. I don't know. It just seems sometimes that, you know, it's kind of... It's a little too close up. A little too much. Anyway, we're just going to run through here. All the way through. Barely made that jump. Oh my god. So there's a way over there. Can I go this way? I can. I should actually check what's over there because now there's two ways. Well, no, I don't think I can do much else over here. No. Yeah, I can. Okay, let's go back then. I have 109. So we're going to keep going up, and let's go through here. Oh, look at this place. Looks so nice. So nice and peaceful. Yeah, just pretty straightforward platforming, you know? Occasionally you'll find some optional ways to go that will lead to more, you know, resources, but other than that, it's pretty straightforward. Whoops, I did not mean to do that right there. Got yeah, more stuff to, you know, climb. Those things are you know, basically checkpoints, you know, die and die along the way. Yeah, it can be bad, but it's not a huge deal. Because the game is fairly generous with their checkpoints. Anything there? I don't think so, no. Oh shoot, one got me. Get him. Yeah, I took some damage there, but that's fine. There's some health back. Again, even with health and stuff like I mean, the game is pretty generous, I would say. Like, you might take some damage here or there, but... You'll find health pretty quickly. Sure, you know, a little bit later the game is going to get a little harder, you know, with certain enemy placements and just enemy types, but in general it's nothing... nothing crazy at all. Oh, I just... I almost like camouflage or something, that's what it seemed like. Alright, they're both down. Get him. Where's the other one? Right here somewhere. And with that, we made it out into the grass. There's a green one. <laughs> All these beetles. Did I get you? Yes. Let me just make sure that I'm missing out. See, there's something here. Okay. There's another one of those. Okay. Time to go. Oh, shoot. Alright, so over here. It's talking about taking aim. You can take aim and you can throw by pressing a. Uh, Z is that what I need to do though? I don't think so. Why, why did you give me a tutorial here? It's kind of a strange one. Yeah, you can aim. You can't actually aim too high though. Oh, that's what I needed to do, I think. Yeah, okay. There we go. There's a piece of something. Which I'm actually not too sure. Yeah, so I guess I should mention what I know about this game. I played a little of this game when it um, released. 
maybe like about an hour or so, and then I never touch the game ever again. So there's definitely some stuff that I'm not gonna remember right away. I remember the basic controls and gameplay, like I remember like a, you know the first era being like grassy like this, you know. But we'll see. What the hell? Let's see what else I remember. I'm not really sure to be honest. Then we have this thing here, which we can't do much about at the moment. We have to just leave. Yeah, the platforming is fairly straightforward, I would say. Oh, look at that. Huh. Finally, some other, you know, characters, some other living beings. How long did those last? Actually, is there anything down there? Oh, there is. You know what? I should go down here and grab that stuff. That'd be very important. Oh my god, you didn't jump. Scrat. How dare you not jump right there. Please jump. Thank you. Alright, we're getting there. There's a platform over there. Let me check out this side really quick. Yeah, there's some stuff here. I gotta wait for this thing to make my way over there. I see some other creatures over there, some like flyers. Oh, damn it, there is this. I'll grab it. Okay. Am I gonna miss anything? Oh my god. I keep finding new stuff here and there, you know? Alright, we're gonna stay on this platform. And let's just make our way through to the top right. Hmm. Now we're waiting for this one to come through. Oh my god, if you fall here? Jesus. That'll be pretty crazy. Yeah, see, like, there's areas like this, but I don't think, yeah, I mean, I can't do anything there, so. Oh, I did miss some stuff over here. Let's grab this. We're already up to 454. Wall spring. It's pretty simple. Pretty basic, you just keep bashing the A button and it kind of goes automatic for you. You can always let go with B if you want to though, if you ever, you know, feel like you have to. For whatever reason. Yeah, there's certain er certain things that you um, are just not going to be able to do. Getting to certain heights and stuff. Well, I guess I can break it. Like, one thing you can do, I believe, is if you go like... Oh, I actually missed this guy. What the hell? How did you get here? Yeah, if you go like that... Yeah, you can break it like that, which... I think that's what they expect you to do. Oh my god, I actually almost overshot that one. That would have been pretty devastating. Uh, there's more boxes over here. Whoa. Camera really uh went a little crazy there. I don't see anything down there this time. In that case we'll just keep going. Oh, that one actually got me. It's rare that they actually hit me.
Yeah, usually the boxes, I believe, they have five. A currency of five. Whereas all the ones out here are usually just one, you know? They're just sitting alone, ready for you to, you know, pick them up. Yeah, I should drop down. I thought I had seen another one, but... Nope. Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's go. Gotta make that jump. Uh, another little beetle here. So these spots right here, you basically mash the Y button and you get to dig up something. There we go. We dug up one of those. Another piece. Okay, let's go to this side now. Uh, yeah, I've already been over there. I wasn't entirely sure, but I think I think so. Okay, so we're here at the front entrance of this humongous place. Now we can go either up there or what is this over here? I don't think I can do anything with this quite yet. No. Not quite yet. So we're just going to take this and climb all the way to the top to get through here. Okay, now here we got to do this. The A button. Oh, yeah, you gotta press B to to drop off. Alright, next area right over here. Let's go straight ahead in here. Uh, are there gonna be any? Yeah, there actually are. I'm gonna break these. And go. Okay. I guess I gotta jump, but uh Yeah, I think what they want you to do is go on the go on the small one first and then make the jump to the high one, but I made it to the high one. Hmm. <laughs> you actually have some slowdown there. What is this Hotel Transylvania Scary Tale Adventures? Oh my god, I don't know if any of you saw that playthrough that I just finished, but oh my god, that, is, that was awful. There was just slow down everywhere in that game. Like, everywhere. It was crazy. Alright, there's nothing on that side. Let's go to, um... I mean, I imagine that, like, if we were to go... We'll go to... Oh, by the way, I... I don't know why I said five. No, the boxes generally have ten, I believe, not five. I guess I miscounted one time, and I just assumed it was always five without looking anymore. Okay, this one here is a new enemy. They're pretty similar. They just run up to you and try to smack you, you know, and do some damage, but they're pretty simple enemies to deal with. Two of them. I think they, have, they might have like one more hit point, I'm pretty sure. They seem like they took like one more hit. Okay, here I need to do the wall jump. Wow. 
Okay, so it's actually gonna go up there. I do have to uh, remember that. But that might be the optional route, actually. I don't know. We'll see. Here's a box. See, this one, isn't this leading to an optional thing? Because I see the optional piece there, but... I don't know, we'll have to see. I'm gonna hit this thing. Yeah, there's a piece. Okay, and then from here, I guess I can just go back. Yes, yeah, so that's where I came from down there. I, oh my god, what I felt. Yeah, it's fine. It's not a big deal. I was already... I was just there, you know? I just have to uh, redo this wall jump here. Yeah, let's see what else I missed, though, because I think there was... Some stuff over here. Yeah, the thing is, I don't think I can access those things, though. I mean, I tried to do something about them, but nothing was actually working, so... And I don't think they're, like, sealed off by a switch or anything. Yeah, I don't believe so. Hopefully I'm not wrong about that. We'll have to see, though. I'm up to 824. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, what the hell? I think I needed to fall. Never mind. I jumped too early there. Yeah, but it's fine, honestly. It's all this over here. And there's that, which I think I actually have to go like this. Okay, well, let's jump this way. Break these boxes in here. Get another 20-ish. And go through again. Whoa, 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 whoa. Camera is spazzing out. We're about to reach a thousand. We're at 901. Okay, so in here, let's see. If I go... What, this and... Well, that's one of them. But the second one's gonna be over here. Okay, so let's go back and basically insert this one. And that opens the door, all right. Honestly, I think we're making a pretty good pacing here. Like, we, are, we just keep going and going, you know, we're finding more new areas. I mean, we haven't really been slowed down by anything, I would say. No, like, major obstacles yet. So that's good. Okay, there we go.
Sure, so we're just going straight ahead here. I'm just looking to see if there's any optional locations, you know, that it'll take us to, but I don't believe so, not here at least. Whoa! I don't know if that No, he hit me, right? Yeah, he hit me, okay. Still though, the movement of me being launched back was kinda of weird. I thought I bugged out or something for a sec. It just seemed weird. There's your health back pretty much right away. All right, let's climb. Let's go up and up. reach 1100 currency very soon now oh this guy I was gonna say these guys just like appeared like two or three and then that, that was it you know like what the hell where's the other guy over here Okay, so this place here, I do need to do this again, I believe. Gotta launch some stuff. Wait. Oh, in that order, my bad. Yes, my bad on that. Yeah, I really doubt there's anything else in here. Let's just go. Be careful there. I almost did not make that verse jump right there. Oh my god. That would have been a little embarrassing. <laughs> Hello, beetle. Go over here. Yeah, I got launcher, but I didn't actually take a hit, take a hit. Still at full health. All right, keep making our way through. Again, it's pretty straightforward, and there isn't really too much else to talk about here. One thing I guess I should say is that the movies, in the Ice Age movies, obviously they, you know, they sold really, really well. Um, but I don't actually know too much about the universe of Ice Age. I really don't. And like all the lore and stuff. Because I never really grew up watching those movies a lot. Much. I watched some of them for the first time like eventually when I was like an adult. Alright, next area. Uh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. So these things here. If you, um, I guess I should have talked about this, but... Basically, I see I missed one, two, and nah, that's fine. I'm just kind of going through. Wait, I didn't get any in the first one. The Forgotten Temple, tablet pieces, and statues. Hmm. All of that is, yeah. But anyway, making it over there. So you basically go to different directions, as you can see. But you can fast travel back to different levels if you, you know, if you need to. Okay, there we go. Um, let's go ahead and break that in. I think we can go up here. Oh, this guy? I'm gonna kill him. Okay, more boxes up here. Oh, shoot. Oh. 
And then we got another one of those right there. Oh, jeez. Hold on, but there's something over there? No, they'll definitely melt now. I'm not going that way. Alright, well, oh, can't make that one. A little too late for that. Yeah, they're kind of going fast. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus. Well, this has just got the checkpoint, so... We're fine. But in certain areas, like, if you fall in, you're pretty much dead immediately, you know? Like, there's no saving you. There's no saving yourself. Or anything like that. Um, yeah, there's nothing over there. Okay, I really thought there was going to be something, but I guess not. More beetles. Great, we got three of them this time. Let's fight them. got something. What could it be? And it's a piece. Alright, the proper way to go is going to be this way. I'm going to grab these pieces and basically lay them out in here. So that's one. What the hell? That was definitely a bug right there. Okay, and then here we can go ahead and grab this thing and put it right in there. And that, in fact, opens the door. Let's see what's over here on this side. Maybe we can find something super interesting. That is a new enemy, oh my god. Okay. I believe that's it for that. Yeah, there are. They're flying ones. Oh boy. They're actually all over the place here. Okay, there were no boxes down there. We're just gonna keep going. There's a ring up there. Can't do much about that though, not yet at least. They make a they make such a such an uncomfortable noise, you know? They really, really do though. Got you? Yeah, I got you. Okay. Let's go... Let's check up here. Can I make it up there? Don't think I can, no. Not yet, at least. That'll be for later. There we go. Oh, Jesus. Hmm. 
That was like so random, but it's kind of cool, you know, just to have a random sliding thing in there. Throw that at them. Oh, great. Yeah, now they're gonna retaliate, huh? Okay. This thing left? And what? What are you saying? What did I just do? Left and then the R, I think? Yeah, that is the idea, okay. I mean, I was standing over here. I'm just throwing them all at you. Just chucking them. Okay, now he's immune. Oh, he got me there that time. I didn't mean to actually do that. Get over here. You gotta dodge. Yeah, he's still immune. As you can see. It's just a matter of waiting, I think. Or I think I might need to cra get this guy to crash on the. I don't even know. Let's see. Let's see what I can make happen. Yeah, that is what you do, okay. Well, that's one of them. Whoa, 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 I'm gonna do that. Oh, Jesus, his freaking body's right there. Right here? Come on. Bam! There we go. Do some damage to him. And he does this little bouncy attack. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, we got me there that time. Let's just chuck some stuff at him. He is a. Yeah, I can, I can do damage to him right now, so that's cool. Okay, it's gonna stop right there. Now we can get over here. Wait, it's gonna charge at me again. And that completes the boss. Oh my god. <laughs> He's just like, yeah, excuse me, pardon me, you know, just just walking, just going right through. That's really funny. Okay, um, well, yeah, we beat the first boss, as you can see. That was, there are, oh, shoot, I'm dead. God damn it. One failed jump, you die immediately, usually. But yeah, um, there are bosses in this game. And, I mean, they're not really all that challenging. I mean, I guess they can maybe provide some challenge, but... Actually, one of the later ones, I believe, I remember, does. We'll see when we get there, though. It's fine. Alright, we're in the next area here. Let me just show you where I am now. So, I'm basically, you know, going, crossing through this side. I'm going all the way over here into the ancient ice cliff. Okay, a lot of enemies here. I've actually started to wonder, like, if I really even need to defeat the enemies. I guess, like, I'm just kind of wasting my time doing that, you know? 
Since I'm really only concerned about, you know, getting through the game. That's generally my, you know, oh my god, how did you, how did, I told I pressed jump. I will say, there is a bit of lag input, so you do have to be a little careful about that. There is, uh, that. Right here. Okay. Now I can, oh, shoot. I gotta wait. I'm gonna have to put this on a little thing over here. Yeah, just pick one of them. There's actually three, or not two, but three. Here's the second one. And the third one, oh my god, I missed that. The third one is back there. Okay, and what the hell? What's right there? I can barely see it. Okay. We got it. Oh my god. You're just fallen. Okay. Let's keep running through. Oh my. I'm barely making some of these jumps. I'm so close to just falling. Oh, it's these annoying things again. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Sure, why not? Okay, we got some more over here. Oh boy. Yeah, I mean, one thing that... Now that I showed off enough about how to, you know, like... Kill enemies and, you know... Hit boxes and stuff, I think you kind of get it, you know? Oh my god, the game is lagging immensely there. And so, you know, now my primary focus is just going to be to get through the game. Pretty much. Also because, like, I had already missed a bunch of stuff anyway. A bunch of, like, the collectibles and stuff, so... Like, it's fine. What does that do? That sounds interesting. Oh, I see. Where's the other one? No. That's one. That's two. And three. And this over here leads to another power up. Alright, so I think to advance here, yeah, I have to go this way. Basically, if if you ever get lost in terms of advancing, I think the place that you go to would be the um following the path of the purple collectibles. Like that's all you would do. Wow, I almost fell there. Okay. Keep going. Oh, 
Oh shoot. They're gonna throw stuff at me. Go. Go again, please. Wow, this place is humongous. I mean, I feel like we're gonna be close to this, the end of this whole entire- God damn it. Like this whole entire pathway, you know? We'll see though. Another ring right there. Guys are here. Another one. And another one. Whoa, look at that. You know how like high up we're going? Like, oh my god, I can't even imagine how high up we are. We just keep climbing and climbing and climbing, you know? And we're still not done. Look at this. Still more. Alright. Any, any higher? Any more stuff? Yep, look at this. Jesus. I mean, this looks wonderful, like, the side, you know, the view and everything looks amazing. And at the very, very top is one of these. <laughs> Okay, now we get to play a little, a little mini game of sorts here. You get to collect more. If you go through the rings, we'll be able to get some pretty good scores here. Oh shoot! Like we we went. Oh my god, we went that far high up. Holy crap, dude! <laughs> If the cries and everything just wow. Wait, I took a hit there? No way. I think that helps you slow down or something. It's way too far low right there. And I'm trying to get as many as I can, but there we go. So there's the first one. <laughs> it's just such a funny character, you know? It's just just staring there like what is going on here, you know? <laughs> oh my god. Impressive, if we have retrieved the first crystal nut. I didn't expect to make it back in one piece. As promised, your hard work will be repaid. Give you the power of double jump. You can now jump again while in the air. Sure. What a great ability, right? The double jump. Yeah, so this is all like, uh, you know, a little practice segment you can you know oh my god I don't don't even do the freaking camera and just keep going 
It's fine, it's fine. Alright, so now we're gonna go that way. I mean, there's different directions, obviously, so we just gotta go to the next one. The next person that lies across freezing cold water so you to better bundle up. Oh, okay, well, it's not just wonderful. Like, seriously, okay. I mean, I guess we'll go this way. But yeah, with a double jump now, you know, it should be a lot easier to navigate a lot of different areas here. It'll be a little bit easier to maneuver our jumps and really control our momentum for jumping how far, how close, you know? That's cool. It's also very smooth though, like, I don't know, like, I don't know if you've played the game, you know, you're watching right now, but like, if you've played the game, you would know like, kind of how, like, kind of smooth it really is though. Like, it really, really is. Like, incredibly smooth. Okay, so the next one's gonna be somewhere up here, I'm pretty sure. I don't think it's on that side. No, it's gonna be this way. What the hell? I accidentally overshot right there. Didn't I? Oh my god, I get up there. What are you doing, man? I'm just gonna go across. I think it's over here. That's actually another tablet, because that's not what I thought it was gonna be. That's cool that I got that, at least. But yeah, no, uh, what I need to find is the second... Is it down here? Oh, what is that? Oh. It was actually much easier than I thought. Alright, it'll take me higher. Oh, another sliding thing, huh? Oh, Jesus. Only really short, though, so like we're fine. Okay, make it all the way through. Alright, new area here. I think this will be the last one I do in this video. Um, yeah, because I just... I'm up there in time. I'm going to keep these videos around 55 minutes or so. Somewhere around there. I can't imagine them being, you know, longer than that. That's crazy, because back when I started YouTube, I would do like 15 minute videos, and then eventually 20, and then 30, and then 40 to 45. And now I do 50 minute videos, which is crazy. Just how much I've, you know extended the time of my videos but to be fair back when I was doing 15 minute videos there was actually a point like for a few years where I was actually uploading like four videos in one day of 15 minutes each which was insane I mean, but in the end that was actually kind of less content than like now because now like you know I'm doing you can say roughly about oh what, what was that what just happened did I just jump through the thing? Oh, I guess I did. That was kind of weird. Okay. Um, but yeah, like, you know, like I was saying. There's just a lot of videos that I made back in the day, but they were generally shorter. Uh, where do I... Uh, is it here, maybe? It might be here. Yeah, there it is.
Okay. More health, not that I need, I don't need that, yeah. Let's just go, oh my god. Well, at least I made it. <laughs> yeah, at least I made that. Because if you get hit three times in a row, you will die. You gotta go back to the last checkpoint. This platform here take us all the way up. This one might actually have something in there. Oh, you stupid! Give me this. Okay, we're gonna lay that one in there. There is a second one that's right over here. That's two. Opens the door, and we can go through. But yeah, any minute now, I'll go ahead and end the video. I'm going to be cutting out all the loading screens in case you're wondering. Um, what the hell? Can I make that? Yeah, I can. Okay. I thought I was waiting for a platform or something, but now we're good. Big giant piranhas coming out of nowhere right there that looks like piranhas I mean I don't know is that real like the piranhas live in cold temperature water I have no idea I'm not a piranha expert but these are like freezing temperatures you know all right I'm gonna end it here so before I end this video don't forget to leave a like comment subscribe and turn on notifications if you enjoyed the video I will see you all later bye bye everyone have a great day